Hello everyone, thank you for joining us on the latest edition of our in-depth newsletter trailer video thing with me, Nico Luro, and to my left over here, we have the rock star, Mr. Michael Menduno. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody. <laughs> How are you doing, Michael? You hey Nico, how are you doing? I am doing good. Yep. I'm good too. I'm it's our first issue of 2023. It's our first video of 2023, which allows me to start the this new year as I finish the last. Smug, very smug. <laughs> because do you remember? Well, you'll remember this and you can testify to this. Off camera on our last video, I mentioned to you that we had some complaints about sound effects and yes. that I was apprehensive to take the sound effects off because since I'd been using the sound effects in the edits, our views had gone up. And you quite, I think, rightfully, said in utmost humility, Nico, but it's because we've been doing these videos a while, maybe people just like us now. No, <laughs> no, no, that's not the it. last video had no sound effects. <laughs> As you can see on screen now, the last video is struggling around the thousand mark. <laughs> And as you can see, with sound effects on screen right now, are the thumbnails from previous videos which have got many thousands of views. So guess what? As you can see right now, the sound effects are back. There's my story. What's your story? Well, I have some questions for you to start off uh, the issue. What is the deepest recognized scuba dive? Um, and who did it? Nuno Gomez? Well, there's an interesting story there. He's... He's, that's not the right answer, uh, but it is the right answer. I, it's, there's a little conundrum Bush, there. I'll, Bushman's, I'll explain. Bushman's Got? Bushman's Got is uh, certainly one of the places, yes. Back for our, our next, I was going to ask who, where, I guess if I say where was the deepest women's dive. Bushman's Got. It? Bushman's Got, yes. And, yeah. Yes, and uh, we'll talk about that. And then finally... How many people have died trying to set deep diving records, say, over the last eight years? Let's go with one a year. Eight. Close. Yeah, that's that's close. We'll, uh, we'll So we'll come back at the end here and uh, go through this. I think you'll it'll be interesting, I think, to people. I'm so, getting uh, in the right territory for these now. You uh, see, yes, I you are. No, this is a close. Like, through, through video <laughs> osmosis, I'm absorbing. That's right. You're learning. You're, you're <laughs> so so we're going to kick off our issue with a great uh, art feature, art science feature called Gorg Grok. We go on a deep dive with marine biologist Sonia Raleigh, a.k.a. the Gorg Whisperer. And she takes us to see some of her uh, ob objects of desire, the, the creatures she loves, these Gorgonians. And uh, this art piece features Gorgonians from about 30 meters down to 1,000 meters. Ooh. Pretty interesting. So I, I, I think people could geek out on it and enjoy it. And some interesting facts that uh, Gorgonians actually aren't a thing. In other words, they don't all come from a common ancestor. They're more a collection of creatures than kind of a uniform group of creatures. So anyway, oh, but kidding. yeah, yeah, I didn't know that either, but. It'll be in the issue, so uh, tune in. Cool. Next, our feature, our lead feature this time, is oxygen narcosis a thing? It's been a long-running debate, as you probably know, on whether oxygen is narcotic or not. Some of the agencies like GUE, CMOS, PADI, PSIA say, yeah, it's narcotic. Use that in your equivalent narcotic depth calculations. But then there are others like TDI and, and the BSAC and INTD who say, uh-uh. So one of the problems has been measuring narcosis. This has been a, a, a tricky issue. But uh, enter uh, Xavier uh, Fredag, who's in, from New Zealand, works with Simon Mitchell. Uh, he's come up with a novel algorithm to look at EEG recordings that can actually detect narcosis. And um, they did these experiments, and what they found was that oxygen is not narcotic. Even at higher PO2s, higher than we would have in dieting, they looked at PO2s of 2.8 atmospheres. So that would be like breathing oxygen, and I don't know, a, a deeper depth, uh, deeper than we should in <laughs> diving. You want to keep it below 1.4. 1. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, and he found that oxygen, right, does not produce narcosis, and they hypothesize that it does not bind to the neuron neuronal receptors that nitrogen does, which causes the narcosis. So it may be that some agencies are going to need to uh, redo their manuals in the near future. Kind of interesting. 
Yeah. yeah so and that's where the title of this video comes from. Oxygen. <laughs> here's why you're all wrong about oxygen toxicity. <laughs> that's right. The song we have with this issue is "Love is like oxygen." Uh, oxygen, too much oxygen, and you get high. Too little oxygen, and you die. Love will make you high. So uh, we should all breathe love with our oxygen, I guess. Love is like oxygen. Next, we're doing. Uh, we're going under the jungle to meet explorer Natalie Gibb, uh, whose whose uh, dive center is under the jungle. Um, she's one of the bright lights in the uh, cave diving firmament for sure. And uh, so we have a profile of her from uh, a guy, a GUE doctor, actually, uh, Evan Kornacki. Uh, Natalie's a 41-year-old th author, photographer. She owns a dive center. She's an instructor, trainer, and an explorer who's just inducted into the Women Divers Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. The reason is she's discovered 20 new cave systems in Mexico. She surveyed, uh, her and her partner have surveyed over 90 kilometers of new line. And she's, you know, uh, really active in bring, recruiting and bringing in new cave divers, explorers, et cetera, uh, next generation. So uh, anyway, it's, it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool profile. And then um, our, our final story before we get to our questions is a new piece by Gareth Locke called uh, Compliance Provides the Illusion of Safety. And uh, it's a really interesting piece. Uh, Gareth reviews kind of the old thinking in safety where to make things safe, you need control and standards. Make everyone stick to the standards and we're all safe. But uh, as Gareth argues, that's, that's really just illusional. And that modern safety science uh, really sees safety as created by being adaptive and being able to fine tune and change relative to information to keep making things safer safer it's an active process i mean so that's a, a kind, kind of a tale as old as time isn't it we're talking about social darwinism here evolve or die evolve or die that's that's it. literally in our case so now we're back to our we're down to our questions so um the deepest dive well it depends on how you look at it um Ahmed Gaber, uh egyptian uh, oh yes we know him back egyptian from our first Army. video we know him yes Apparently, reportedly, has dived to 332 meters. Uh, it's a Guinness Book of Records. But as we know from in depth, uh, there's a cloud hangs over his record as to whether he really did it. If he didn't do it, then the record would fall back to Nuno Gomes, who dived to 318 meters. Uh, a significant dive for sure. Um, women, uh, we just ran a story, Karen Vanden over, uh, actually, one of uh, Nuno's students just did a 246 meter cave dive, kind of significant, and Bushman's got, you're right. And about six people have died in the last eight years trying to do these records, two women and, and the rest men. So um, we ran this piece on Karen last month and it really uh, impacted uh, Neil Pollock, one of, one of our writers, Dr. Neil Pollock, and he's written a great piece called The Risk and Management of Record Chasing. It's a nuanced subject because, as you know, we, you know, we have this, as humans, we have a pre, uh, predisposition, genetic position, uh, predisposition to explore, right? It's our explorer gene, the DRD47R gene. Yeah. And so we must go deeper. We must go longer. It's our nature. But at the same time, does it make sense to just, uh, you know, kind of bounce down the line to some deep depth, touch and go and come back up? Uh, for bragging rights. Does that make any sense? So I think Neil does an incredible job of kind of threading the needle to this. And I, I think once people read it, it will help them to sharpen their beliefs. With this, we have an incredibly interesting story. There, there was a guy a couple of years ago named uh, Guy Garman. Yeah. Uh, Doc Deep was his nickname. He died in 2015 trying to do a 365 meter dive, about 1,200 feet. And it turns out that uh, our John Kieran, tech diving instructor and a partner of our art director, SJ Bennett, was actually Guy Doc Deep's trainer. So the piece is called I Train Doc Deep. Uh, this was when John was a brand new tech diver uh, and tech instructor, very excited, uh, hooked up with uh, Guy Garman. 
and at some point realized that he really shouldn't be making this guy. Guy, guy was very enthusiastic, uh, enthusiastic diver, but he only had been diving for four years when he was uh, attempting these record dives. You know, it's kind of a zero to hero. So. This is John's story and perspective. Uh, it's a really powerful piece. I, I think people mm. will be uh, amazed at it and what John has learned from this experience. So uh, cool. anyway, that is our issue. I'm um, hoping everyone's going to read it. Uh, it's a good one. Um, yep. way. And, Can people read it? And where it can. So it's coming out next Thursday, the 5th of uh, February, and you'll be able to find it at indepth.blog or goe.com forward slash blog forward slash. So uh, come and check out the issue. We'll be pushing it out in emails. Uh, it's a free subscription to In-Depth. The subscription gets you our weekly emails with new stories. So uh, mm -hmm. I urge everyone to subscribe. Yeah. Yep. So stay tuned to In-Depth, guys. Please, as always, do like the video, share the video with anyone who you think may be interested. You can find him on Instagram at M2Base. You can find me on Instagram at Nico Lira if you want to reach out to us. There should be another video right below us now, which you can click on to keep watching because the YouTube algorithm likes us if you do that. Otherwise, guys, we will see you on the next issue. <laughs> Bye. See you soon.